Hello, today I want to show how you can quickly customize the appearance of charts on your MetaTrader 4 terminal. So I have here MetaTrader 4 and I've just opened up the Euro USD chart. And let's say I want to show the 5100 moving average. So obviously the steps I would go through, I want to remove the grid. I want to show candlesticks. I'm going to zoom in a little so they're a little larger. I want them all shifted to the left. And now I'm going to add my two moving averages. And I'll make this uh, 50 as a simple moving average in yellow. And then I'll add the 100 moving average. I'll make that blue. All right, so that's done easily enough. But now if I open up another chart, so I'll open up the GBP USD, I have to do all of that again if I want to have the same view. You may already know how to save templates. So first I've gone to the chart that I've set up the way I want it. I go to this templates button on the toolbar and save template. And here I'm just going to give my template a name. So this is the MA50-100. Now when I go to the GBP USD chart, I can simply click that templates button again, and I can find my MA50-100, click that, and it has scrolled there. And now I have the same settings applied to this chart. So that's easy enough. But I also don't like my charts opening up the way the default looks. So let me open up a new Euro chart. I never want this grid and I always use candlesticks and I always shift my charts to the left. Now I can apply a, a template every time I open a chart, but sometimes I'm just opening up for specific reasons. I want to apply different indicators. What I want is that each new chart I open will have the grid removed. It will be candlesticks. It will be shifted to the left. And that's also easy enough to do. So first I remove the grid. I'm going to switch to candlesticks, move to the left and just zoom in a little. This is the way I would want a default chart to open. And to do that, I go to save template and I use the special name default. Now, every new chart that I open, and I'll open GBP USD again, will open with that default template. Also note that because I was using a one hour chart when I saved this, the new charts are opening up at one hour. If I just change one of these to a four hour chart, for example, and I'll save template again on top of that default And I can change this back to a one hour chart. But now if I open up another indicator or another currency, I open up AUD, it's opened up with a four hour chart because this is how I saved the default template. That setting of the time frame only applies when you open a new chart though. So just remember that if I go back to my Euro USD here that has moving averages, I can apply the default template and note this is a one hour chart. I can apply the default template, which has removed the two moving averages, but the time frame still is H1. So the default time frame is applied when you open up new charts, but it isn't applied when you set that template on an existing chart. And that's the same for any template that you might have saved. They won't change the time frame of your chart. Okay, so that's two quick options to save templates for specific chart settings and a template for your defaults so that charts will always open in whatever manner you prefer. But now let's look at the strategy tester because I had a question about how was I showing indicators on the strategy tester. So first let me open up the strategy tester. And this moving average.ex4 is an example strategy that's supplied with MetaTrader. 
If I run this, uh, and it will take a moment to download values, so I'll, do, I'll skip forward a little. So I've let this run a little, and you can see that it's already placed and closed a trade here. But it's opened the chart back in the normal settings with a grid and with a line chart. I would prefer to see this as a candlestick chart with no grid and showing the indicator that it's using to run this expert advisor. Now when I do demonstrations, I'm typically running them once just to show what's happening. Uh, so the easy way to do that, I'll click this button, which is the run and pause button. Uh, and then I'll simply go to the chart and change. I can remove the grid, I can change the candle, change the chart to candlesticks and so on. Uh, and I will typically do that and add my indicator, which for this particular expert advisor, I think this is using a 12 with a six shift. So I can do that and that's great for a demonstration because now you can see the indicator and it will run with the chart. But if you're building an expert advisor, you might want to run these strategy tests multiple times and you don't want to do this every time so that you can watch the chart and look to see that it's performing as you expect. There are two things that you can do here also, and I will just stop this. And let me go back to my Euro USD chart here. Let me set this up the way that I would like it to look when I'm running the strategy tester. And that means adding a moving average 12 and shift six. Now I can save this. And I can also give this the special name tester. Now let me close that down and I will start my strategy test again. So now I've started the strategy tester, I have it paused, but it has already set up the chart the way I wanted to see it. No grid, candlesticks, and it has the moving average here. And let me just run that, and you can see the moving averages plotting as the chart moves forward. So that's a simple way to have the strategy tester showing up with the indicators that you want for your particular EA but this is still not quite good enough. There's a second EA supplied, that's the MACD sample. If I run this, I get the same chart showing a moving average, which is not very helpful for this MACD. Now, if I'm building and testing only one EA at a time, then perhaps I only want the one template but if I'm working on more than one and I'm switching between them regularly, this is a bit of a problem. But there's a way around that as well. I'll stop that, go back here. I'll just remove that moving average from this chart, which I'm going to use as my template. And then I'm going to add in the MACD indicator. choose the defaults and now I'm going to save this not as tester this time but I'm going to call this MACD sample exactly the same name as the expert advisor and now I'll go back and I'll restart the expert advisor or the strategy tester And now you can see that it's plotting with a MACD. So by setting up a template with the same name as an expert advisor, when you run that expert advisor in the strategy tester, you will get the template matching that name. By using a template name of tester, you will get that as the default for anything that you run in the strategy tester that doesn't have a specific template applied. By creating a template called default, that will be the default for all new charts that you open. And of course, by creating named templates, you can apply those to any chart that's already open. Um, and one example here, let me open a Euro. Uh, recently, I 
recorded some videos on Heikenashi charts. Uh, if we go to the Heikenashi indicator, you can see there's an indicator and a set of instructions on modifying the chart to show the indicator correctly. Rather than do that, I saved it. I set the chart up once, and then I simply save the template for Heikenashi, and then by just applying that template, I get those charts. So that's only a short video today, but it explains four things that you can do with these templates to make setting up your charts easier each time. I hope you found this useful. If you have, then please click the like. And if you would like to see more of our videos, then click the subscribe button and remember to click the bell icon to be notified when we release new videos. Until next time, thank you for watching.